After the mission was scrubbed on Monday, the NASA Artemis 1 mission is set to make its second attempt to launch Saturday afternoon. The weather forecast is favorable for the two hour launch window that starts at 2.17 p.m. So here's ABC's Morgan Norwood reporting from Kennedy Space Center. All eyes will be on Florida's Cape Canaveral Saturday afternoon as NASA makes its second attempt at its Artemis 1 launch. Last night uh, after the briefing, we powered up Orion. We performed all the RF testing. We also powered up the core stage. All looked nominal. And right now we're on track for a uh, 2.17 p.m. launch. We have a two hour window. Monday's first attempt was scrubbed due to two issues. One of the four engines wasn't cooling down to the proper temperature, and there was a crack in a vent valve in the inner tank. That is the whole reason for this test flight, to make sure it's as safe as possible. Engineers have since repaired that crack and determined that the sensor on the engine was not working properly. NASA is using a space launch system or SLS rocket to send the uncrewed Orion capsule on a 37 day mission to lunar orbit. It's all a part of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon by the late 2020s. We've got a whole host of things that could cause us to not get off any given day, weather, uh, uh, range or technical. But the weather forecast is favorable. I do not expect weather to be a showstopper by any means for every launch, for e either launch window. NASA is looking to push the Orion spacecraft to its limits in order to uncover any problems before astronauts strap in. You need to run a flight test without crew first to fully appreciate and understand, quantify, characterize those environments before you expose humans in this type of a mission. And if all goes well on Saturday, we can expect to see the first pictures of Earth from the Orion space capsule sometime Saturday evening. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Kennedy Space Center in Florida.